Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Fish in the Garden State, and this is episode one of What is in My Tackle Box. Stay tuned to see what I carry for baits. So we're talking tackle today and what do I keep in my tackle box and we're going to start and show you the hard baits and how I keep my hard baits organized and then we'll go into soft baits in another video. So as much as I love fishing and as much as everyone loves fishing there's one thing I love more and that's fishing tackle and I have an abundance of tackle for the little bit of room that I essentially keep it in. So I keep all my tackle with me because you never know when you're going to stop, when you're going to be able to fish, and hey, I love it. You know, what hurts me the most is the winter time comes and I can't fish, so what do you do? I go to the store and I buy tackle. So, you know, but with that being said, let's jump into it. I'm going to uh, take you through my hard baits and show you what I got. So, all right, let's reposition you a little bit here. So I apologize for the glare on the box, but as you can see, I'm going to try to put it out of the way here. That is my hard baits. Let's get into it. I love stickers. I put stickers on everything. You'll see them on all the boxes, everything I got. So I keep 3600 series boxes because they fit well in my Bass Pro Shops backpack. I have another video on that review if you want to see that bag and, and what I can fit in there. Um, and then when I go on the kayak I have two Plano 3700 waterproof boxes that I'll take and I'll put what I want when I'm in the kayak because obviously this can't all go with me. But if I'm in someone's boat I bring you know this container with me. This one's here empty so we're not going to do that one. Um, you know and I fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think it fits ten, thirty-six hundred boxes in this tote. The locks goes right in the trunk of my car, keeps everything nice and organized. So let's take a, a dive into each box and uh, see what we got. All right, so this is my crankbaits, some of my crankbaits. So what I do is. Anything that's not a square bill goes in here. So I have some um, scatter wraps. Um, you know, so the different different lips. What we got going on here? Different things. So if you notice, and I keep everything rubber band together, and it makes organization a lot better. So this is the deep diving crankbaits. I have scatter wraps here, um, and then these are all my deep divers um, all the way throughout in the colors. As you can see, not a lot of deep diving crankbaits because here in Jersey, on the shore and in the kayak, deep dive cranking is not the easiest. But I do have some big ones. Get into a boat and be able to go, you know, go deep. I can do it. Um, Scott Martin, River to Sea Goon on this one here. It's a nice one. You know, so I can go deep if I need to. Um, and the bait ball. And then every box, I keep something microed. And my little rubber band came undone there. So I do have a little micro size crankbait. Alright, deep diving box. Let's see what else we got here. Let's grab grab this one. All right, swim bait and jointed box. Um, not that we have a lot of opportunity in Jersey all the time to throw these, but I have them. Um, and these are all the jointed swim baits I have. So jointed swim bait box 
No micros in here because there really is no micro jointed swim baits. Let's see. Popular, popular box, and you can tell it is loaded. What's probably going to happen is this empty one is probably going to turn into my chatter baits. So both of these sides are all chatter baits. And the rest of this is all different jigs. Um, flipping jigs, swim jigs, football jigs. But I need to get some better organization in the jig box because you can just see it's crazy. We got some hair jigs. I got some micro finesse jigs. I got some rattling jigs. Um, and then I have the bladed jigs here. So we'll probably uh, be switching that up and throwing the jigs into this other empty box I got. Keeping chatter baits and everything separate. But jigs, all colors, shapes, sizes, weights. All right. One of the top order boxes. This is frogs. So I got some hard frogs. I didn't band these together, but hard frogs. I have targets. Um, you see that? Um, I got a bunch of Sabeel Holobrite frogs. Um, all different types. Some of these I still gotta trim the legs on. I think that's a Bass Pro Shops. Um, but tons of frogs. You can see the lunker hunt frogs with the feet. I got the little lunker hunt frogs. I got the live target sunfish in here. Um, is another good one. So that's the frog box. No sticker on that box, but we'll get some stickers on there. All right. Shake this out a little bit. Spinner beats. And buzz baits. Um, I keep some smaller micro style buzz baits. I keep some bigger buzz baits. Um, black and blue, white and sartreuse, sartreuse, you know, all the different colors. And then spinner baits. I, I don't really like spinner bait boxes, but you know, shake them loose and get them out of there. Everything from white, black, you know, will leaves, Colorado blades. I got them all in there, so there's, you know, a ton of spinner baits in there. Probably need to get another box and keep them a little better, but a ton of spinner baits. Make sure these buzz baits fit back in here and not break and stuff. Now I got that box closed. We're better off. Jerk baits. So all different style jerk baits. Um, I'm getting, you know, from big strike kings to to rapalas to um, live target. There's also some Livingston in here, but again, keep everything rubber band to try to keep the hooks and keep them organized. Um, so the one jerk bait that's been successful for me so far this year, this one here, caught some jerk, uh, jerk bait fish on so far. It's a uh, Rapala Shadow Wrap 11. So not bad. Um, but jerk baits. up box square bills um, here's all the square bill crankbaits um, Livingston live targets you can see a little live target yearling square bill so I love square bills um, great for on the shore because down diving shallow being able to throw it into some tighter spots where I don't dive and I can access great in my kayak I do have some flat sided uh, these are Rebel flat-sided crankbaits. Um, I have 
2.5s, I have 1.5s, so all different shapes, sizes, colors. But a look into the square bill box. All right, two more to go. This is top order and some miscellaneous. So um, I got the tail spins, Lunker Hunt tail spin. I got another Strike Pro tailspin. I got poppers. Um, I got a little rat, mouse, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, try it. Um, old school um, jitterbugs. Never go wrong with some old school stuff. Um, I got some spoons. And I have, I'll get in close here, um, selection of blade baits. And then top order walking baits, white spook, some bleeding shads, some regular shad, and then different little stick bait in there as well. So some top order action. All right. Last one is my lipless box. And here's all the lipless. So we have. Um, you know, rattle traps. We have all the red eye shads. You know, so a bunch of red eye shads. Um, we even have some of the Berkeley lipless, which actually have a nice little shape to them. Um, nice little action, nice little flat sides. Work out really well. So, a bunch of little different lipless, different sizes as well. And then again, I keep some micros in there. Never know when you need something small. So that's the boxes. Um, so that's what I keep all my hard baits in. You can see I, I got plenty to go. So 10, 10 boxes full, 3,600 boxes full, and I still got some more that I got to do an unbagging, which will be another video coming up here shortly. So, you know, let me know if you have any questions about any of the baits, um, which ones in there are my confidence baits probably do a confident bait video here coming up shortly so you know let me know what you think so as you can see um i have an issue i love tackle um but that's what happens it's it's a big thing um i can tell you oh, here's a bag you can hear there's more tackle in there so we got more coming um we got a lot of stuff more coming I'll give you a little sneak peek of the next video um, coming up here. Probably going to do an unboxing of every unbagging, essentially, just a bag of what I got in here. Um, but something to look forward to. Creed GT 3000 spinning reel from uh, 1.3. So looking forward to that, and then uh, got some other some other goodies in the bag here. But um, that'll be another day, another time. So. Thanks for watching this episode of Fish in the Garden State. Let me know what's in your tackle box. You see anything in mind you have questions about? You see anything in mind that I don't have that works great for you guys? Um, I don't have any spy baits that really work for me, so I don't have them. Doesn't mean I won't get them, but hey. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Oh, it's not going to be a good one.